Hello folks and welcome to this easy guitar practice for beginners. It's easy, it's simple, but you have to do the work, you have to do the practice. Same as I do, every day. I practice at least once a day, sometimes more. It might be easy but it does rely on you doing the work, so you have to do the practice. I haven't really structured these lessons in any, any way at the moment because I didn't know I was going to go down this route. But it looks like I'm going to be going down this, this route at, some, at least for a while. And I'm a teacher, so I know how to teach. And I know how to play the guitar. And the advantage that I've got is that I can already play the guitar. And I know the fastest methods and the easiest methods to learn and to practice. So that's what I'm doing with these videos. I'm sharing my experience and my knowledge of how you can put this stuff together with some, you know, interest in music rather than just learning scales or learning chords actually learning tunes because that's how everybody learns to play the guitar really that's how I learned to play the guitar I was listening to music I was listening to the bands that I liked and I thought I'd like to play that in this video we're going to learn a classical piece of music called Malaguena it's in three parts and it's very very easy very simple but when you play it it looks and sounds fantastic. The tune, La Malaguena, was written in 1928 by a Cuban composer, Ernesto Luciona. The reason this tune has become a guitar classic is because it does two things. It gets you moving your hands up and down the fretboard, and it gets your fingers moving on your finger picking on the strings. And it's a bit like, you know, rubbing your head and tapping your stomach or tapping your head and rubbing your stomach but you'll get there, you'll get there that's why it's become a classic because it's quite easy to learn if you put the hours in and it's a very simple piece once you learn it but it makes you it makes you feel like you're actually getting somewhere because you're you're playing chords and you're strumming individual notes and this is the thing that, it's about a grade two in terms of learning to play guitar, I think. So. idea of the Malaguena is for you to interpret it yourself. There is a set of music, there is a set of chords and strings to play, but the idea of the Malaguena is for you to practice it. It's a practice piece really, and it's for you to practice your speed and your, your fingerboard work, your finger picking work. And you get faster and faster and faster, but the idea is to get accurate first and then speed up. If you see a classical guitarist, they'll then we're going all over the place. But you can play most of it in just one position, E major. And you use your finger here, your index finger, on the top E, which is the bottom string. And you use your thumb to strike these three strings. That's the first part, okay? so. That's the, that's the first part and then you you come off off the E and you do this little run That's the whole thing, right, for the first movement. The second part of the movement is this. This 
this second part can be played a variety of ways. You can play it this way, or you can play it this way. entirely up to you. Okay, so that's the second part. You can slow this down and rewind it and just see what I'm doing. It sounds really quite good, it looks quite good as well. Take the E shape, the E major shape, and then just move the whole thing up to the second fret and third fret, and then up to the fourth and fifth fret, and then back down again. And you can do this. Gives a kind of flamenco feel. But can you hear how the resonance of this guitar? Can you hear the sound it's making? Can you hear how long that? sustain last for ages this is a tiny little guitar this is a tiny little guitar but the sustain is amazing that's probably why they loved them why i love this one and this uh this business all you're doing with a, when you come to your strumming section and you're doing this take your four fingers and you do it like that the four fingers so one two three four so you go down go down and then up Or you can do it like that, you can just do it with your thumb. So you hit the bass note, E, go all the way down the strings, and then up. You do as ever easiest for you, okay? Whatever feels natural for you to do, do it. Because the whole point about the guitar is you're trying to express yourself. So don't copy what I'm doing. You do it the way it feels nice to you to do. That's the thing. And what you do is you just keep practicing. So the piece was originally for piano, but guitarists got hold of it. If you look on YouTube, you'll see a, a wide variety of different methods of playing this thing. So this is an easy guitar practice for beginners, okay? It's about a level grade two. That's all there is to it. You have to just practice and practice and practice some more, and then you'll get faster. The reason this tune has become a guitar classic is because it does two things. It gets you moving your hands up and down the fretboard and it gets your fingers moving on your finger picking on the strings. That's why it's become a classic because it's quite easy to learn if you put the hours in. And with that flamenco flourish It just sounds great. I love it. Most people, myself included, learn to play the guitar because we liked a particular band or a particular tune, and you thought, well, oh, I just love to play that tune. So that's why a lot of people play guitar or any instrument because they want to, you know, they want to play something because it's rewarding. It's nice to be able to do it, and it's easy to see why because it's a it's a great piece. I'll leave you to it, and you can get on with that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.
fun out.